Hi, I'm Hans Holman, Executive Director of the Collar Institute of Private Equity at London Business School. Uh, we're at the 2011 Private Equity Symposium and I'm here with uh, Graham Thomas, uh, Head of Private Equity at Standard Bank. Uh, we just had a panel on emerging markets and private equity investment. Uh, just wondering what your thoughts are, Graham, given your experience on investing in Africa. What do you think are the critical success factors? Okay. I mean, let me, let me first say, Hans, I think, I think there isn't really such a thing as Africa. I mean, there is obviously in a physical sense, but Africa is a, a whole heap of different countries. And, and in the same way as investing in the UK is different to investing in Italy, you know, investing in South Africa versus investing in Nigeria versus investing, say, in a country like Zimbabwe, which is obviously um, at, at a different stage in the risk spectrum, are, are you know, very different dynamics. So um, it's, it's difficult to generalize. Uh, that being said, I'm I'm happy to try and generalise. Um, so I think, as I think about that, I, I think there, there there are probably four things. The first is, uh, you know, there is a private equity model that is tried and tested. It works. It's worked in the developed market for many years, and it's now starting to be applied more and more in uh, into the developing world. And and I think that's critical. So stick to that model. Don't change the model. Don't uh, accept lower standards. Yeah, stick stick to a, a tried and tested model. Uh, secondly, this is in its essence a local business, so you've got to have local presence, and, and that doesn't have to mean an office on the ground. It doesn't have to mean uh, you know a, a huge infrastructure on the ground, but you've got to have local people. You've got to know who's who in the market. You've got to know who you're dealing with. You've got to know who to deal with and who not to deal with, because it's true in in any market, but especially in in, in Africa and and in developing markets generally. Um, the third point I would make is around fund size and it's uh, perhaps an odd point to make but you don't need a two billion dollar fund to invest in Africa you don't need a billion dollar fund to invest in Africa and in fact I think you'd be hard pressed to actually put that amount of money to work the check sizes aren't that big um, uh, where there are opportunities they tend to be uh, bigger opportunities they tend to be more resource and infrastructure focused and they tend to attract more competition so I think people who, who want to focus in Africa need to keep their fund size at a sensible level uh, to to match the investment rate and investment size in in Africa and my fourth point is again it's it's true for all private equity but it's around people this is a people business uh, there are not a lot of seasoned private equity professionals in the African market. And so one of the things we've tried to do is match uh, seasoned private equity professionals, perhaps from other markets, team them up with, with local people who, who understand the local market and the local dynamics and, and really drive it like, uh, like that. I think that's, that's on the investment professional side. It's equally important on the portfolio company side. This is about management. It's about getting the best management you can, and it's about aligning them uh, towards your exit. And what about the uh, limited partners investing in the asset class? Is there a lot, a lot of local money, or does a lot of money come in from outside Africa? Yeah, Africa today, private equity, is driven primarily by the DFIs, the Development Finance Institutions, so CDC, uh, FMO, DEG, people like that. Uh, IFC, very big investor, and, and they've done a terrific job of, of seeding the, the industry. I think they are by far the biggest source of, of money. Uh, in some markets you have local money, particularly in South Africa. In other markets um, where you say you have local institutional pension fund money, etc. Most other markets in Africa, the local institutions are not yet allowed to invest in private equity. So Nigeria pension funds cannot invest in private equity. Um, that will change in, in the coming years and I think that will become a big source. Uh, and then I guess the third pocket, which hasn't really been tapped yet, is the is the typical North American, Western European institutional market. So the traditional LP market has not really been tapped in any uh, in any great uh, in, in any great depth yet. Uh, and I think that will happen over time. And I think that'll 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 signal you know that that'll be when African private equity has really come of come of age and, and shown itself as a as a mature private equity market. Many thanks for your thoughts, Graham. Pleasure. Thank you.